Hi, I'm Lee Labrada, author of The Lean Body Promise, and I'm here to talk with you today about what you should eat after your workout. Many people are confused about what to eat in their post-workout meal. And if you ask people what they eat after, your, after their workout, you're gonna hear all sorts of answers from, I don't eat anything at all, to I drink a protein shake, to I go to the all-you-can-eat buffet and eat anything I want. So today I wanna to clear this up once and for all. What should you eat in your after-workout meal? And what I'm gonna say is not only rooted in nutritional science, it's going to surprise you. I'm gonna show you why it's not just the post-workout meal that's important, so stay tuned. All right, so let's say that you've just finished a hard workout. You're literally wiped out from exerting yourself over the last hour. You're satisfied with your workout and you're heading out of the gym, well, now what? To answer that, let's start with what your body wants you to do. Your body wants to do two things after your workout. Number one, it wants to replace the energy you burned during your workout. And number two, it wants to start repairing and rebuilding your muscles. So how do you accomplish this? Number one, to replace the energy that you burn during your workout, you need to increase your blood sugar. And one of the fastest ways to do this is by consuming carbohydrates. And number two, to start repairing and rebuilding your muscles, you need to provide your body with amino acids, and that means consuming protein. Protein provides amino acids that are essential for rebuilding muscle. Now once upon a time, it was a given that you needed to eat a high carbohydrate, high protein meal right after your workout. In fact, this practice became so popular that it was given a name. The name it was given was the anabolic window. Anabolic means tissue building, as in building your muscles. The anabolic window is based on the idea that your body is primed or sensitized to absorb a maximum amount of nutrients within 15 to 60 minutes after exercise. So if you consume carbohydrates after a workout, it helps to maximize the amount of glycogen. Glycogen are stores of glucose in your muscles that are used for energy. And if you consume protein after a workout, it helps to initiate muscle repair and growth by stimulating protein synthesis. Now the current research on the anabolic window is far from, from conclusive. Although it's practiced by many professionals and fitness enthusiasts, I happen to be one of those who believe in the importance of the post-workout meal, but I also happen to believe that the pre-workout meal is just as important, if not more. That's right, the pre-workout meal. I know, I know we're talking about what to eat after the workout, but as you'll see, it depends on what you eat before your workout also. So to illustrate, let's look at two different examples. In the first example, let's suppose that you wake up in the morning, you eat no breakfast, maybe you have a cup of coffee, and you head to the gym for your weight training workout. Technically, you're in a fasted state. After all, the last time that you ate was the evening before, and you haven't had anything to eat, you haven't had any breakfast. So you're depending on the glycogen that is already stored in your muscles to provide energy for lifting. And remember, you've had no carbs and no breakfast. During your workout, you're gonna be depleting those glycogen stores in your muscle. This is where most of the energy for your workout is coming from. And depending on how hard you work out, you could also be using up available amino acids from the amino acid pool that is circulating in your bloodstream. Now in this scenario, the anabolic window approach definitely applies to you in the sense that you're already depleted of carbohydrates and protein. Ingesting carbs within a short time after your workout will raise your blood sugar, and rising blood sugar triggers a release of insulin. Insulin contributes to stopping the muscle breakdown process in your body. That blood sugar starts replenishing the glycogen in your muscles. Some examples of your post-workout carbohydrates can be bananas, bagels, or even a granola bar. If you have a protein with your carbs, you'll also be providing the amino acids necessary to replenish your amino acid pool so your body can start the rebuilding process. A lean body ready to drink protein shake is great for this and is available in the cooler of your gym. Now for the second example. In the second scenario, let's suppose that you wake up an hour earlier in the morning and instead of skipping breakfast and racing to the gym, you have a bowl of oatmeal, which is high in complex carbohydrates, 
a banana, which are quick carbohydrates, and eight scrambled egg whites, which you quickly made by pouring liquid egg whites into your skillet and cooking. You eat your breakfast while catching up on emails and you get a jump uh, on your day. You then go to the gym and an hour after eating, you perform the same workout. So what's the difference? The difference is that this time you have broken fast. That's why it's called breakfast, break fast. And the catabolic or muscle wasting state that you were in while you were sleeping has stopped. Once you get to the gym, your blood sugar is higher from your breakfast, which is your pre-workout meal. So you should have more immediate energy for training. And because the carbohydrates that you eat in your meal are glycogen sparing, you don't deplete your muscle glycogen stores in your muscles as much as if you had skipped breakfast. Also, because you had egg whites, your body's amino acid pool is already being replenished as the protein in the egg white is being digested and absorbed. Okay, so now the question is, what do you do after the workout in this scenario in regards to your post-workout meal timing? Well, the research shows that in this case, your pre-workout meal, what you ate before your workout, is still at work after your workout. So the urgency to get that post-workout meal during the traditional anabolic window is diminished. In most cases, it's okay to just go home and have a complete meal consisting of a whole food protein plus carbs within 90 minutes. An example of this would be, say, a chicken breast, a bowl of rice, and some vegetables. The same thing applies if your workout is in the afternoon or evening when you've had several meals leading up to that workout. But keep in mind that your pre-workout meal should be eaten within 90 minutes before your workout. Okay, so all that being said, rules are made to be broken. And the exception to this one is if you're an elite athlete or you're getting ready uh, for an athletic competition or event, or if you're like me and you wanna leave nothing to chance and maximize results, here's what I do and what I recommend. Number one, have a complete whole food meal consisting of protein, carbohydrates, 90 minutes before your workout. Number two, drink a protein shake such as a lean body shake along with a banana or bagel right after your workout. And number three, eat another whole food meal 90 minutes after your protein shake and banana. Follow this protocol to get the best results from your workout. It takes a little effort, but with planning, it's gonna get easier. And remember that you can't overcome a bad diet through exercise alone. Try this approach to your pre and post workout meals and see if you don't feel better and start making faster improvements. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and as always, feel free to ask us any questions below. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel so that you're instantly notified of our next video. And finally, check out these other videos by clicking here. I'm Lee Labrada, your Lean Body Coach.